Hi guys, welcome to my second mommy vlog. I was about to do makeup quinto vlog, but kapag makeup na ako, and a mixy baby, so never mind. Ang pag-usapan natin today is about postpartum. The first week of postpartum. Most of the people ask me how I was giving birth. And uh, did you feel the pain? Blah blah blah. So during birth, ang gusto nilang malaman. But for me, the most important part is the postpartum. Because during birth, you're gonna do it in the hospital. Every help that you have is on there, in there. And you have the anesthesia epidural. So the pain is almost. Wala ka nang naramdaman. Only the pressure of giving birth. But still, it's a different story for every person. But for me, postpartum, I really want to share my experience with you. Because I don't know the shock and pain. So after I wear off all the effects of anesthesia and epidural, the, first, uh, the morning after I gave birth, I felt all the pain when Everything is swollen. My face is swollen. Arms, legs, my whole body is swollen. Especially my vagina, where I push my baby out. Cause I, I had a normal delivery of a seven pound and six ounce baby. <laughs> so I really had to push him out of my vagina. So I had a two hour pushing, a two and a half hour pushing the baby out, and they had to do vacuum him out so that hindi ako masyado mahirapan or they help me out para hindi na tumagal yung pushing ko so they have to vacuum the baby out and oh my god nung nakita ko yung baby oh my god ang laki niya how the heck did it fit did this baby fit in me <laughs> like, uh, but I cried after that so what I'm saying the next day after wala na lahat ng anesthesia nag tinaramdaman ang sakit I got torn in my vagina and uh, part of my butthole so they have to stitch it up and uh, because of the pushing and the stitch of my vagina the next thing is very swollen and I felt all the pain there because it wala not effect yung anesthesia and one of the worst thing is they have to put catheter in me because I cannot pee and that morning because the epidural still have effect i think i can't control my peeing yet but my bladder is full so they have to put catheter and fucking shit and suck it oh my god punit pepe hashtag punit pepe <laughs> so everything i needed help for from the nurses for the first day after giving birth because you cannot do anything on your own. So they had to attend to the baby, change the diaper, but I have to feed the baby. So uh, they give me the baby when it's time to uh, for him to eat. And if he's crying, so that we can do the skin to skin and everything. But everything that I felt during the first day after giving birth is pain. So I felt all the pain, the swollen legs, arms, everything. But you have to deal with it because you have a new baby or a new human to take care of. So another thing that I was scared of during because of the pain that I have in my vagina and my ass hole is pooping. So I was so scared that if I need to poop, I would tear the... Yes, and I'm like, oh my god, please god don't. So I needed the stool softener, stool connex for me to be able to poop. And a good thing, after three days, I pooped the, the second day. I pooped on the second day and I was lucky enough not to tear it. Like, oh, yes, thank you lord. But it is fucking painful. Normal stuff that you do is pain. And look at my baby. It's a little... <laughs> He's two months now, but anyway, so what else? So I was bleeding for uh, at least a month, but for the first few weeks, didn't really get bleeding. 
So, isa pa yun sa mga hassle. You have stitches, and you're still bleeding. You have to change every time. You have to clean your wound. It's very difficult to deal with. So, second night is one emotional roller coaster for me. So, do a challenge on the baby because that night he went on cluster feeding. Cluster feeding, they feed, they feed, they feed every hour, every 30 minutes. Even though I don't have that much milk yet because colostrum pa lang yung lumalabas. Stimulate your breast and producing milk. So, I had to do it overnight. That means sleepless nights. So, wala talagang tulog. And baby would cry. Nakakaloka talaga. So, that, tapos, kailangan mo mag-CR. But you can't move that much kasi masakit. So, after the whole night of that scenario, umiyak ako. May 7 a.m. Iyak talaga. Breakdown talaga. Breakdown. Yung first breakdown. Break, break, break it down. Naiyak. Ah, at syempre, nung pa-uwi ka na, pa-uwi na kami, kinakabahan na ako. Because it would be me and my husband and the baby in the house without any help. So, so I'm healing and I'm figuring things out for the baby. So you're taking care of the baby and taking care of yourself. And I'm, I feel like a clueless mama because I have to change him. I have to put on his clothes. I have to put him on a car seat. Which I really don't know what to do, and and you're gonna put on the seat belt on a little baby. I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? What am I gonna do when I get home? And that's one of the questions that I have in my head. But siempre have to deal with it. So once we got home, it's sleepless nights and emotional roller coaster. So there are days na. Iyak lang ng FC baby, even though you feed him, you change his diaper, you gave him the basic stuff that you need to do for him to stop crying, but he won't stop. So, ikaw din, iyak na lang din ako, ganun din, <laughs> maiyak na lang din. So, kakaloka. So, I got hemorrhoids, one of the shitty things that happened. And, uh, epidural side effect for me is back pain. So, I still got back pain until now. And stuff. And I think I had a postpartum depression. Yeah. Especially the first few weeks with a baby. You cry without any reason or yeah, you cry because you feel alone. Or you cry because you feel like you're not on yourself anymore. You lost yourself and you you, you lose yourself. You cry because the baby cries. You cry because you just cry and you just feel sad sometimes. But yeah, postpartum depression is real. Sometimes you don't want to take care of your baby. You don't want to take care of yourself. That shit. Yeah, I'm being honest, but that shit happens. And one of the things that happened in the first few weeks, we have to bring the baby to the ped pediatrician first checkup that's the first week so i feel like shit all the pain i'm feeling i look like shit and i deal with shit so what the heck and i have to go out i'm like oh my god please this is very hard for me that's one of the hardest things that i had to do in the first few weeks i have to go out and look and deal with people with other people but you have to do it so yeah you just deal with it and then eventually things get better everything gets better yeah and now alay mo yun two months na tong baby na to two months na yun ang laki 12 pounds na siya ngayon 12 pounds alay mo yun ang laki na and makulit na siya, he starts talking to you, smiling, and that's one of the um, perks of being a mom, is the happiness and the love that you share with your baby. So, um, I think that's all I can share about postpartum. So, if you have anything to share with us, please like and subscribe and comment down below if you want. And thank you so much for watching. See ya!